we have talented athletes in so many fields even in basketball be it women or men category you know uh, but it's difficult because we do not have that kind of support so the same thing for me uh, it comes in that way so it's a big challenge started with the steering wheel and of course when i grew a little older uh, you know i was taught the rest of it on how to shift gears and how to use the pedals that are in the car you know for a normal person to just sit hop in a formula car and drive uh, i it's it's just not easy i mean you could either even throw up inside your helmet you know you phoebe del nongrum meghalaya's only female formula 4 race car driver needs no introduction after making her debut in the indian national rally championship in arunachal pradesh in june where she managed a podium finish nongrum met meghalaya chief minister conrad sangma east mojo spent a day with meghalaya's fastest woman and asked her to share her insights Here's what she said. I have participated in 14 races and I've won 12 races. I'm I'm also a navigator uh, at times, so I also navigate and drive race cars. So there were a few races I won uh, as being a navigator and few races I'd won as a driver. So just recently I had uh, I was given a chance by Mr. Vamsi Mirla and Ami Fight Rallying Team to debut in the INRC that is the Indian National Rally Championship. Uh, I was uh, driving for INRC 4 uh, that is a sedan category and i got a uh, second runners up podium for that and uh, recent before that i was uh, driving for ahura team racing uh, from that's the formula 4 cars and i also had a second runners up podium for that in the ladies category especially in meghalaya the sports department isn't that strong yet you know we we don't have a a department where uh, all these things are being looked into properly you know because we have talented athletes in so many fields even in basketball be it women or men category you know uh, but it's difficult because we do not have that kind of support so the same thing for me uh, it comes in that way so it's a big challenge you know when it comes to sports here and especially when it comes to motor sports Well basically uh it started really young uh you know I was introduced to engines at a very quite early age uh basically I haven't seen an engine but I have sat in the car um uh, you know with my dad usually we used to have these family outings on Sundays so uh me my dad my brother my mom we would go out on Sundays and we would go out to these uh, you know far off villages from the city but it's quiet we would go for a drive and uh, just like that my dad would tell me hey come on my lap like you know i was probably 7 8 years old and just like you know we, with him holding like the steering wheel he would let me steer also and i would actually uh, steer the steering wheel and he would tell me like you know like because here the roads are very tiny back then so he would tell me you have to stick on your side of the lane so the car shouldn't go that way and this way and you know you should you should make sure that this you are you are holding the steering wheel in a correct way and you you know turning according to your like your side of the turn and so that we you know uh, for years together whenever we would go out on a sunday outing i would really i would get really like uh, excited oh, okay today sunday you know we get to go out and i get to sit at the steering wheel so it started with the steering wheel and of course when i grew a little older uh, you know i was taught the rest of it on how to shift gears and how to use the pedals that are in the car and uh, things like that so much to it like you know working out uh, making sure that you know you're fast at uh, with your hands uh, your reaction speed your you know you have to have a bit of stamina because it takes a lot to uh, drive these cars especially the formula car the g4 is quite a, quite a bit so you know for a normal person to just sit hop in a formula car and drive uh, i it's it's just not easy i mean you could either even throw up inside your helmet you know you probably have a dizzy head so you'll have to be fit to drive these cars and if you're somebody who's not used to uh, you know or doesn't like ex- exercise every day it's kind of difficult to compete with the ones who are already out there up there and uh, for me being like you know uh, 
being my first time, being new to all of this, uh, I have to put a lot of uh, effort into uh, working out and training my body as well. So this is also one kind of a challenge which I'm challenging myself to become better and also it is good in one way because uh, I end up training my body in such a way that, you know, uh, I feel healthy also at the same time. And uh, apart from that, the other challenges are obviously like, you know, having your support system, having a team that supports you or having, you know, someone from your uh, um, state that would actually support this kind of sport. Well, uh, I would say is that uh, at the start, it uh, you know, uh, it's never going to be an easy journey. In fact, uh, starting of anything that is beyond your comfort zone, beyond your comfort level, is never easy. Be it like you know, getting out of the city, getting out of the house, getting in, into a different crowd, or things like that. You know, it's never easy to step out of your comfort zone. But then, uh, you know, if you're really interested in this sport and you have the support of your parents and you know you want to go ahead with this spot please do feel free to contact me i'm there on social media uh, i definitely want to help uh, the youngsters of northeast be it the uh, you know men or women uh, girls or guys you know uh, i would definitely like to guide you guys in the right, right direction things like that you know it's never easy to step out of your comfort zone but then uh, you know if you're really interested in this sport and you have the support of your parents and you know you want to go ahead with this sport please do feel free to contact me I'm there on social media uh, I definitely want to help uh, the youngsters of Northeast be it the uh, you know men or women uh, girls or guys you know uh, I would definitely like to guide you guys in the right, right direction and how to go about in motorsports so i'm here uh, to guide you all or even better if you have or you know anybody please do not feel you know afraid to step out of that zone and approach uh, anybody in the motorsports world if you know anyone uh, you could always like get in touch with them and you know uh, go for it because uh, at the end of the day if you feel that you have the talent and the skill for this uh, nothing can stop you if you really want it you know so you have to want it as bad as uh, you know as wanting uh, basically a candy when you're a kid or a toy when you're a kid you know how bad you want it and you cry and you're like no I have to have this mommy papa so it's the same thing when you want something as bad as you know as that uh, in that way uh, you, you have to get out there or you will make it a point to get it don't forget to like share and subscribe to East Mojo for any queries put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications